Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be doing some 3D printing. All right, so the last 3D printing video I posted was quite a while ago, like maybe half a year ago. And in that video, what I was doing was trying out my first TPU 3D prints. And if I can recall correctly, it did not go well. It wasn't sticking to the bed at all. And the printing in general is a mess. Over the past few weeks, I've actually, I've gotten my prints to be pretty consistent and actually look pretty good. What did it for me was for my Ender 3 Pro, I just went into Kira, which is the slicer I use. And I, I don't know how, but I just simply press TPU, pick the infill and if I want support or not. And for some reason, those simple settings are working, but I still have a huge roll of filament left. So with that, I wanna try printing something out of TPU much bigger than I'd have printed before. Like really big, like whole bed, like really big. <laughs> Okay guys, step number one to printing this is grabbing the file. So right here I have Thingiverse loaded up and this is the octopus I'm gonna go for. I've seen people print this in flexible filament before. Seems like a cool thing to print. All right, it's downloading and now we're bringing it into the desktop. I'm gonna minimize that tab and head into my slicer software, which is Cura. So I'm just gonna pop the file in and first things first, we want to make this as big as we can get it. So I'm going to scale it up. Whoa, that was a little too big. All right, so this is how much I scaled it up to. And I have generic TPU up here for the setting, super quality. And I went for 50% infill and cubic. So that will give me a decent amount of flexibility. So I'm going to slice this and we'll see how long it takes. It's probably going to be about 20 hours maybe. done and we've got 20 hours and 58 minutes that's quite a lot now I'm just gonna save to my SD card all right we've got the SD card and now let's head over to the printer all right step number two is we got to get the printer set up so I've got the flexible filament loaded on here as you can see very flexible so what I'm gonna do is heat up the bed and let all this glue melt I'm gonna take a paper towel with alcohol on it and wipe all that off so it's completely clean. And then I'm gonna to try to just go over it as evenly as I can with a glue stick. Um, and I'm gonna heat the bed one more time and rub lightly with an alcohol paper towel to somewhat spread it evenly around. Hopefully that gives me enough bed adhesion and sets up the printer good enough for this print because I really need it to be, if anything goes wrong, I'm gonna to have to restart it. So that's what I'm gonna do right now, and then we can start the print. All right, I've got the layer of glue stick on. It's really thin, you can kind of see the lines. So now I'm gonna start up the print. I've got the SD card in right here, you can see that. And I'm just gonna go print from TF, which is the card, the octopus, that's the file right there. Alrighty, first layer is looking good so far. The bed's pretty level and everything like that, so. I'm gonna leave it for now and come back and check on it later. All right, it's about 10 o'clock now, and this is the last check before nighttime. Um, so yeah, here's what we've got. It's grown in thickness a bit, looking pretty good, but still not too much noticeable progress. Anyways, 
Good night, guys. I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> I'm just walking into the workshop right now. It's about 7 o'clock, so the print's been going all last night. Okay, yeah, that went a lot. I'm going to wait to show you guys this because it's a lot of progress now. But this is how much filament it's used. If you can see right there, it was up to like here. It's already gone through that much of the filament. It'll be like 20 seconds for you guys and you'll see the big reveal. Okay, so the octopus is done. However, we had a few obstacles along the way. The first octopus that you just saw in the last clip, well, that one had a bit of a catastrophic failure. It has no head. The printer had clogged. Isn't surprising because it's a Bowden printer. It's not specifically meant for flexible filament. However, I did want to try to save this because of how much filament it used. So, I printed a brain and that can go right on top and it looks like a half dead octopus or something like that. Hey, Kriya. I have a present for you. The brain is creepy. Do you want it? You're giving it to me. Mm-hmm. 